Hello everyone, today I will discuss to you the rational exponents. But before we proceed. May we have a recall on transforming exponential expression to radical expression? This is very important in simplifying a radical expression. Let us begin. May we have the exponential expression. If n, raised to 1 half. If we transform this one into a radical expression. Then, this is simply the square root of n. You can write it with, the degree of radical which is 2. Or you can write it without the degree of radical. Any of the two is correct. Another example, if n raised to 1 third, if written in radical expression. It is a simply cube root of n. If its n, is raised to 1 fourth, then, it is the fourth root of n, and so forth and so on. That is how to transform exponential expression to radical expression if the numerator is 1. What if the numerator of the exponent is greater than 1? Let us have this example. If n, raised to 3 over 2. Then, you can write it as a square root of n, close and open parenthesis, raised to 3. Or, the square root of n, is raised to 3. Any of the two is acceptable. And last example, if n raised to 4 over 3. Then, we can write it as the cube root of n, close and open parenthesis, raised to 4. Or the cube root of n, raised to 4. These are some examples of transforming exponential expression into radical expression. Let us now move on to our main topic which is rational exponents. Let us have an example. Simplify the following rational exponents. We have here, 27 raised to 2 over 3. We can factor out that the exponent 2 over 3 becomes 27 raised to 1 third, close, and open parenthesis, raised to 2. Is equal to, transform 27 raised to 1 third into radical expression. Then, it becomes the cube root of 27, close and open parenthesis raised to 2. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3. It is simply 3 times 3, times 3 is equal to 27. Therefore, the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Then, it becomes 3 raised to 2. Then, the 3 square is equal to 9. That is, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, 9 is the answer. Let us have another example. What if, the exponent is a negative fraction? Let us have 25 raised to negative 3 over 2. To make it easy, let us first simplify the negative exponent. By transforming the negative exponent into a positive exponent. Through bringing down the given expression and creating it as a denominator of a fraction. Then, the given expression becomes 1 over 25 and raised to positive 3 over 2. Then, let us factor out the exponent 3 over 2 of the 25 raised to 3 over 2. Then, it is equal to 1 over, 25 raised to 1 over 1 half, close, and open parenthesis, raised to 3. Then, it is equal to 1 over, and the radical form of 25 is raised to 1 half. That is, the square root of 25, close and open parenthesis, raised to 3. Then, it is equal to 1 over, the square root of 25, which is 5. Then, we have 1 over 5 raised to 3. Then it is equal to 1 over, 125. Then, how do we arrive at 125? Since 5 raised to 3, we multiply 5 times 5 is equal to 25, then multiplied again by 5. Then, it is equal to 125. Therefore, 1 over 125 is the answer. Let us have an example of a rational exponent that involves certain operations so that we can apply some exponential rules. Product rule for exponent. Let us have 81 raised to 1 half multiplied by 81 raised to 1 fourth. Since the base is similar, then, copy 81. Then proceed with an addition to their exponents. So, we have 1 half plus 1 fourth. Then, it is equal to 81 raised to 3 fourths. Then, let us transform it into a radical. Then, we have the fourth root of 81 close and open parenthesis, raised to 3. Then, we have the fourth root of 81 is equal to 3. It is simply the product of 3 times 3, times 3, and times 3 is equal to 81. Therefore, the fourth root of 81 is 3. Then, we have 3 raised to 3. And 3 raised to 3 is equal to 27. Multiplying 3 times 3 and times 3 is equal to 27. Therefore, the answer is 27. In short, for the product rule for exponent. If the operation is multiplication. Then, the exponents will be added. Quotient rule for exponent. 
let us have 16 raised to 1 half over 16 raised to 1 fourth. Since the numerator and denominator have a similar base which is 16. Then, we just write 1. So, 16 raises to 1 half minus 1 fourth. 1 half minus 1 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. Then, it is equal to 16 raised to 1 fourth. Then, let us transform 16 raised to 1 fourth into radical expression. So, we have the fourth root of 16. The fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. It is simply the product of 2 times 2, times 2, and times 2, which is equal to 16. Therefore, the answer is equal to 2. In short, for the quotient rule for exponent. If the operation is division. Then, the exponents will be subtracted. Let us have the first power rule for exponent. Let us have 3 raised to 9, and it also raised to 1 third. Then, it is equal to 3 raised to, 9 multiplied by 1 over 3. So, the product is 9 over 3. Then, we have 3 raised to 9 over 3. As you can see, we can simplify the exponent 9 over 3 by dividing. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Then, we have 3 raised to 3 or simply 3 times 3, and times 3 is equal to 27. Therefore, 27 is the answer. Let us have the second power rule for exponent. So, we have 4 raised to 1 third multiply 16 raised to 1 third. Then, first, we multiply 4 times 16 the product is 64. Since the exponent is similar then we just write it as 64 raised to 1 third. Then, let us transform it into radical form then it becomes a cube root of 64. The cube root of 64 is equal to 4. It is simply the product of 4 times 4 and times 4 is equal to 64. Therefore, the answer is 4. Will you try this exercises? The answer will reveal at the end of the video. For more videos on mathematics, please don't forget to subscribe.